What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel's Avengers news update. Now, I know I've been getting loads of comments from people saying, Ben, where are you? You know, they showed Hulk super jumping and a bunch of other stuff. Guys, I know everything that has happened at Gamescom, I'm fully aware of all the awesome stuff that was announced. The only reason I didn't do a video up until now is because I've kind of been waiting it out, seeing if anything else was released, because I didn't want to release this video, and then once I released it, a bunch of screenshots were released. But... I decided to do it today because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any more announcements, at least at Gamescom. So, yeah, I just thought I'd get it over with. And there's some really cool stuff to talk about in this video. It's very exciting. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, obviously we've talked about the characters that were announced at Gamescom, but what we haven't talked about is what the characters you can see in the character selection grid, and some of them I'm pretty certain are definitely those characters. So let's bring up the first one. So the first one we have here is of course Jasper Sitwell. Now Jasper Sitwell is one of the most, uh, probably I would say one of the most known uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He appears in Thor, The Avengers, Winter Soldier, he also appears in I think a few uh, one-shots and of course Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. So he's quite a well-known character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm not sure if he's in the comics though, but yeah, it makes sense for this character to be in it because, you know, not only is this game celebrating, you know, the Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron, but it's also going to have things from other MCU movies, like we saw the different Iron Man armors from the different movies, and then of course we've got Jasper Sitwell here, so it definitely makes sense to see characters that are in the broader Marvel Cinematic Universe as well as, you know, the comic universe as well, so it's pretty cool. I'm not sure what he'll be able to do, and obviously, you know, he might not even be able to do much special, but it's still nice to see that kind of character being added to the game because the Marvel Cinematic Universe is huge and really there's so many characters that they could add to this game and I'm really excited to see the final count upon release. Now, Jasper Sitwell is cool and all, but I think this character may just guarantee a bunch of other characters that might be announced in the coming weeks and months. So let's talk about it. So the character you can see here is called Amadeus Cho, and he's from Marvel Comics. Now, what's interesting about the image that I have chosen, it's actually the version of Amadeus Cho from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series, which, if I remember correctly, is very different to the Marvel Comics version. And you can definitely tell from the character grid, the version I've circled there, that's definitely him. He's got the same hair. He's got the brown jacket, the red shirt, and loads of people are speculating online who it could be. And I'm pretty sure they've all settled on Amadeus Cho. So, yeah, I definitely think it's him. Now, what's interesting about this version in particular from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series is that this version of Amadeus Cho actually becomes the Iron Spider. Now, this is really cool because to me, it doesn't seem like they would just add Amadeus Cho and then leave him there. Like, I know they talked about, you know, I just talked about Jasper Sitwell, who would probably just have a gun or something like that. But it just makes me think, with Amadeus Cho, they are teasing the Iron Spider suit. And what a great idea, you know? Imagine being able to play as Amadeus Cho and then suit up into the Iron Spider suit at any time. Because personally, I really hope Tony isn't the only one that can do that. I'd like to see maybe uh, Rhodey, Ivan Vanko, um, you know, Amadeus Cho. You know, there's, there's so many really cool ideas. And of course, Obadiah Stane as well. There's so many really cool other characters that you could use with suit ups. And if Amadeus Cho is one of them, then that's great. Also, another thing to mention is, if we are actually getting the Iron Spider suit, come on, Spider-Man is not going to be far behind, you know what I mean? Spider-Man is definitely going to be in this game if the Iron Spider suit is. I mean, it's just like, it's basically screaming yes, so... You know, this is just speculation for now. That might not even be Amadeus Cho, even though I'm almost certain it is. But if it is Amadeus Cho and he can turn into Iron Spider, then I'm almost certain the Spider-Man will be in the game. But we will just have to wait and see. Now here we have a very obscure Marvel character which I would imagine a lot of people have probably never even heard of. Me personally, I think I've heard of this character in the past but I've never really looked into who he is and you know what he can do and things like that. But after I looked into it, he sounds kind of cool. He sounds very unique compared to a lot of people. He seems to be, um, you know, his only ability that I can, I can seem to find is that he's invulnerable to a lot of things. So being shot at, blown up, burned, drowned, all that kind of stuff. He seems like he's a very strong character, I guess guess but that's all I could really find like I don't even know if he can shoot projectiles or something like that or if he's really super strong like can he literally just withstand a lot of damage or is he also really strong where he can I don't know pick up cars or something like that because I don't know a lot about him but if you guys know anything more on Butterball let me know because it might get me more excited about the character because he sounds kind of cool he sounds very unique to most of the other characters what I will say though is I like his design it's very basic and it's very cool 
Now here we have the Marvel character Sentry, who is really cool, and when you look into it, he hasn't actually had a lot of video game appearances, which is really disappointing, because he's a really cool character. He's got superhuman strength, he's really fast, he's got stamina, agility, he can of course fly, he's got some really nice abilities, and I also personally think he's got a really cool and unique costume, so I think it's great to see that Sentry is in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, and what's interesting, you know, it makes you think, I wonder if this character will want day be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's really interesting because of course you could come home and come play this game and kind of remake the scenes that Sentry might have been in in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's like I said long ago for Lego Marvel Super Heroes, these games last a long time. You know, when Captain America Winter Soldier came out, I w when I came home from seeing that, I went on Lego Marvel and you know, I had Captain America fight the Winter Soldier. These types of things are really fun to do when a movie comes out. So, you know, if Sentry one day appears in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, whether it's, you know, Infinity War or Phase 4 or something like that, this game will be something you can go back to and play as that character, and I think that's going to be really cool. Now, last but not least of the character selection grid, before we move on to the new gameplay features, I just have one more character to talk about, and this is probably the most exciting one of all of them, I think. It is, of course, the Collector, but not just any version of the Collector, the Collector from Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie, one of the best Marvel Cinematic Universe movies of all time. I mean, that film is just brilliant. Now, why am I so excited that the Collector is in the game? It's simple. There's no way that TT Games would add this character to the game and not add the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know? Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, Drax, Groot, maybe even Yondu, Nebula, Ronan, I mean, they could all be in this just because the Collector is in it, and I really do think so. I just, I don't see TT Games adding this character and then no one else from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Plus, let's hope it's not just the characters. Can you imagine if you can run around nowhere or something like that? There's a hub world for nowhere, or at least maybe a mission based on one of the best scenes from Guardians of the Galaxy. Similar to that video I did where I talked about you know how they could do a mission for each phase one movie and each phase two I think there's a lot of potential there and I really really can't wait to see the Guardians of the Galaxy in action in this game because you just know it'll be so authentic to the movie and be absolutely awesome now then, we move on to the Hulkbuster suit up in LEGO Marvel's Avengers. So here we can see Iron Man, he jumps inside it, and boom, and you get a really nice look at the suit here. It's quite short, I know, and it's not the best clip due to the quality, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's an awesome looking suit, and just the fact that you can suit up into it at any time is really cool. Also, one thing that I did notice about the Hulkbuster in this game is that it doesn't matter which suit you wear, so you could wear any Iron Man suit and get into the Hulkbuster still. That's kind of cool it allows you to really mix up how you want to play so if you want to do it like the movie you could put on the mark 43 and then get into the Hulkbuster or if you want you could just be Tony and get into it I think it's really nice how you have that much freedom in how you want to suit up into the suit and that suit looks amazing as well they didn't show off any gameplay whatsoever for the Hulkbuster but Arthur said that it has some very exciting uh, features that they'll be showing in the coming weeks and months so I can't wait to see that now this is a small change, but it's also a very exciting one. So if you remember from one of my previous videos, I talked about how I wasn't very satisfied with Scarlet Witch. And the only reason I said that was when she was shooting her attacks and everything, it just didn't feel like Scarlet Witch. It didn't look like Scarlet Witch. It just didn't feel like the movie at all. And it was kind of disappointing. But when I did say that, I also mentioned that there was no way that was the finished version. You know, they always improve these things as time goes by. Like even now when we're watching this gameplay and we're thinking everything's cool, it will look even even better by January. It really will. They always improve their figures and, you know, all their animations and everything. They're great at doing that. But as you can see here now, you know, she's moving her hands so elegantly, just like the movie, and she's shooting loads of blasts. It makes the noises and everything. It's really well done. And of course, you know, that isn't all of Scarlet Witch's abilities. Like I said, there will be more that we'll see in the coming weeks and months. And again, I'm really excited to see it because even that, that clip alone, that one clip has got me very excited to see what um, other abilities Wanda might have. 
so now we move on to Quicksilver, and I've already talked about Quicksilver at San Diego Comic Con. I mean, they showed off some really cool footage, but I've got to say, the footage they showed off at Gamescom this week, it's even better. I mean, again, they've improved the character that much more. You can see he's got his own special moves. Look at this guy, you know, he flips him around, he's in the air, and then this one is really cool. So he spins this guy around, the guy gets dizzy, you know, he can barely walk, and then boom, Quicksilver just punches him. It's just, it's so Quicksilver, and I love it, and really... They've done so well on this game. Now, another thing to mention about Quicksilver is that people, when they were watching the streams and things, they were thinking, why isn't he running fast? He's still not fast. And, you know, he doesn't really have a lot of abilities. Now, personally, I think he looks great, and I'm definitely sure they will fix, you know, any issues that people might have. But Arthur Parsons recently went on Twitter and said that there are more abilities and things that Quicksilver can do they haven't even shown yet. And honestly, I'm almost certain that's got to be some sort of speed boost. So many people are requesting they want Quicksilver to run super fast through the streets of New York and all the different hubs and everything. So, you know, you've got to think they'll definitely add that. So, I could be wrong, but honestly, that is like one of the most highly requested features right now. So, if it isn't in the game, that would be quite surprised. Now here we have another quick look at another speedster in the game and it is of course speed. Now sadly they didn't show off speed in combat but he is still an extremely cool character. One thing I love right here is that yes he's walking but he's still running. I mean it's so it's so much like a speedster. It's so much like speed. It's just it's really well done. And of course you know like I said it might be different in the final game. He might he might play completely different to Quicksilver for all we know. I mean we'll just have to wait and see but I also like how you know how in the game Quicksilver you know you see a trail behind him when he's running and the same goes for speed I just love that it's really nice attention to detail and of course for Quicksilver himself it's very true to the movie and that's obviously what you want you know it's based on Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron so when somebody goes to see Avengers Age of Ultron and then they come and you know play this game they want Quicksilver to feel exactly how he felt in the movie and play exactly how you would think he would play and honestly judging from what I've seen from both characters I definitely think they've done them justice but again they might be different in the final game and if they are I can't wait to see what they're like now obviously we've already seen the Hulk Buster but now it's time to see the Stan Buster and this thing is amazing I mean I just love the idea of giving not only just an Iron Man suit for Stan Lee but also his own Hulk Buster the Stan Buster it's just so cool you can also see Hulk doing his idle animation where he gets mad at a chicken that's pretty cool but this right here check this out he moves the lamp in he starts using his typewriter and then he pushes it along with the Hulk Buster arm it's just it's so much attention to detail and I love it. I mean, it's just so cool. I wonder if you can literally just sit there for ages um, where you don't use the controller and you'll just sit using the typewriter for ages. I think that would be so cool. And of course, you know, I know a lot of people are thinking, can we still play as, uh, you know, Stan Hulk? Because that was really cool in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Personally, I really hope so because I loved how Stan Lee was this super powered character. He had like every ability. He could web swing, he could turn into the Hulk and things like this. So hopefully, you you know, maybe we'll We'll see that as well but for now Stanley's abilities are only suiting up into Iron Stan and Stan Buster but still that is really cool now, of course, we know that random crimes are going to be appearing in New York City. You know, you're going to have uh, carjackings and you're going to have bank robberies and all that good stuff. But here we can see Iron Man and Black Widow. And at the beginning of this part of the gameplay, you see that Iron Man pulls down the lever while he's in Hawkeye's farm. Now, what that did is that actually spawned in a bunch of Ultron bots. And I think this is really cool because I was starting to think if we have other hubs, then they've got to kind of keep it up so you have some enemies to fight in those as well. Because New York City has random crimes and that's great and you'll always have someone to take on you know you'll always have an enemy to fight but it would be nice to always also have that in different hubs and so the fact that there's that lever is really cool and it makes me think you know are they going to do the same for Sokovia if that's in the game personally if they did that I think they should just have the Ultron bots uh, you know just walking around just so you can just go up to them and they're just terrorizing this city I think that would be really cool also, another thing to mention that I forgot to mention about this gameplay is you see a brand new team-up move of Iron Man and Black Widow. And basically, Black Widow is shooting everything in sight, and Iron Man is shooting his repulses. It's just all-out chaos and explosions and everything. It is awesome. The one team-up move that I'm still really hoping to see is Vision and uh, Thor. That would I really want to see what they're going to do with that, because that would be amazing. Alright, so this is of course what everyone has been waiting for, the Hulk Super Jump. This thing 
is amazing. So basically, there is a charge bar when you hold down X. And look at this. He barely charged it halfway, and yet he jumped super high. And what I love is it's so different from previous games that the Hulk has appeared in. You know, whether it's Hulk Ultimate Destruction, the Hulk 2008 game, or Disney Infinity. They all kind of just do a jump, you know, and which is cool, and I always liked that. But with this game, Hulk doesn't really jump. He leaps. He leaps forward. And, you know, another thing I love about it is, you know, the rocks get covered in the ground and you just see debris and everything it's all really cool and the fact that that was barely charged you know that meter was barely charged you just know that jumping around the city is going to be so much fun like I can't wait to see how high you can make Hulk jump and also of course this is Hawkeye's farm so there's probably some limitations to how high you can jump so imagine if you're in the city I bet you can get really high and seriously this is amazing I hope other characters can do this as well like I'm really hoping we get Red Hulk because Red Hulk was one of my favorite characters in Lego Marvel superheroes so if I could have him now where he can climb walls and jump this high and just destroy the city and everything that is going to be so much fun all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video i mean i think that is everything that has been announced at gamescom i've covered the screenshots i've covered all the gameplays that i've seen so far you know we've seen all these new characters i've talked about the characters at the beginning that we might be getting which I'm pretty certain we are. It's just, you know, that's pretty much everything that has been announced at Gamescom. And while I'm satisfied with what we've got, I know a lot of people aren't. I know a lot of people think that's not enough. And, you know, I can understand that. We didn't get a new trailer or anything like that. It's kind of weird how we haven't had a new trailer by now. And we've been through two events, San Diego Comic-Con and now Gamescom. Are we not going to get one at EGX either? It's not a huge big deal for a trailer. I can understand that, you know, maybe Marvel doesn't want them showing too much of Age of Ultron. And they don't want to make another trailer based on the event. Avengers that's fine but it would be nice to get a new trailer because that first trailer was amazing but nonetheless the gameplay they've been showing is incredible and January you know I'm glad it was delayed because it means they can focus on the game and make it the best it can possibly be don't get me wrong I wish I could have it right now but the fact is we're going to be thanking them by January that they delayed it because it'll be that much better if you got it right now it probably wouldn't be as good as it will be in January. Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for lots more videos real soon, and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.